So Darcy was a, a man of quite extraordinary erudition. I think one of the things that is really extraordinary is how Darcy's work has influenced not just biology and mathematics, but so many other fields as well. So art and design and architecture and geography and anthropology and engineering, where his work has proved to be relevant and both directly and indirectly has really shaped a huge number of, of things that we now take for granted today. Darcy Thompson was born in Edinburgh in 1860. Darcy's mother very sadly died uh, when he was just a couple of weeks old and he ended up being largely taken care of by his grandparents and his maternal aunt. So uh, Darcy ended up very much being brought up in this very female-led household, interestingly. Initially, he went to Edinburgh University to study medicine, but very quickly realised that biology was his great passion. So he transferred down to Cambridge to complete his studies down there. At the age of just 24, Darcy was appointed here in Dundee, what was then University College, to uh, the first chair of biology. One of the first things that he did was to build up a huge museum of specimens, and he used that not just in his teaching, but also in researching uh, as well. Really, he built up what was at the time one of the largest museums in the country. Darcy collected his various specimens from a variety of different ways, one of the main ones being that Dundee was a major centre of the whaling industry at that time. So he was able to make friends with the whaling captains, persuade them to bring back specimens for him. Sadly, the original museum was demolished in the 1950s, so uh, although we still have many thousands of specimens here in the museum, it is really just a fraction of Darcy's original collection. Darcy was here for uh, 32 years and then he transferred to the University of St Andrews to take up the Chair of Natural History there. Darcy very quickly acquired a reputation as a very entertaining and erudite and increasingly eccentric teacher. Particularly he was known for using all sorts of bizarre props. He always wore this enormous great coat and he would come in with pockets bulging and he would pull out frogs and bits of string and soap bubbles and all sorts of different things that he would use to demonstrate. The uh, Charles Darwin Medal that was awarded to Darcy Thompson in 1946 by the Royal Society. It was awarded to him for excellence in the area of evolutionary biology. And it was really during the later part of his life that he was given all sorts of honours, various honorary degrees, various prizes and medals. Uh, he was president of various notable bodies. And really he became quite a well-known figure in St Andrews, increasingly eccentric character, famous for wandering around the town with a parrot on his shoulder, and he really became very well-known and well-loved. Uh, Darcy died in 1948 and he's buried in Edinburgh.